But with temperatures expected to get into the single digit, there are some things you can do ahead of these frigid temperatures. Yeah, important to think ahead just yes. a little bit this time of year. News Channel 11's Catherine Simpson joins us live with what you should do to prepare your home. Catherine, what can you tell us tonight? Yeah, Sarah Casey, like you said, with those single digits coming up, now is the time to make sure that your heater is ready to handle the hard work and to avoid having to pay for costly home repairs. Typically, a dripping sink is a sign of something gone wrong in your home, but plumbers say with cold temperatures, it's the right move to prevent frozen pipes. More importantly, you should check any outdoor water valves. The fastest way to get a pipe to freeze and burst is to leave a hose connected to them. So disconnect all your hoses. Um, some of your spigots will have a shutoff valve where you can shut the water off to that spigot. Inside, open cabinets to let warm air circulate around valves, improve insulation around windows and doors where possible, and be aware of potential shortcomings of your heating system. If your air, your air filter is clogged up, uh, it can cause the heat pump to have to run harder, it can short cycle, and it can cause it to put out less heat, essentially. If it's working that hard when it's that cold, um, it's, it's just working a little bit too hard and you could literally blow a fuse. Modern heat pumps often have their own removable fuse, making it easy to repair. So one thing, you can just take out that uh, disconnect, put the few new fuses in, and you should be good to go. And with high wind expected throughout the day Friday, check for trees that hang over or near your power lines. When it's on your power it's your responsibility. So um, with the high winds that are coming this weekend, those tree limbs can knock your service out. So you might want to, you know, go up there and trim those tree limbs just a little further away from your power lines. Appalachian Power also advise keeping your heat a little bit lower if you can while you're out or sleeping in order to save on those utility bills. Reporting live in Kingsport, Katherine Simpson, News Channel 11. Back to you.